that's when I was able to already check in because I was sitting in the back of the plane in economy class so I went on board of the flight and the flight took off and normally it takes about seven and a half hours to fly from Toronto to Amsterdam airport but this time Thank you. 
chimney on the house, there is a hole in it, and then the little stone house is hollow on the inside, which is filled with, um, I think it's, I can't remember what it is, it's either whiskey or vodka, and then it's sealed with some beeswax. So yeah, that was really, really crazy, so she explained to me that if you fly first class that you can pick one of these, and apparently I wasn't the only one that did not know that because she explained the story multiple times to different people in first class. So we had a very uh, smooth landing, and um, during sunrise I was in the plane, so I filmed some with my phone of the fluffy clouds and things like that. And then when I came out of the plane, I, uh, I was out of the plane as one of the first people. And then my suitcase arrived. And while I was waiting on my suitcase at the conveyor belt, another a guy came up to me and he was like, Hey, are you the water whispers? And I'm like, yes, I'm the water whispers. And then he was like, I love your videos, thank you so much, and he seemed to be kind of shy, and when I get recognized, I get kind of shy too, so I got this big smile on my face, and I was, I felt really flattered, because it doesn't happen every day that I get recognized, but this time, I got recognized right before I took off in Toronto at the train. I got recognized, and then I got recognized again. At the airport here in the Netherlands, which was insane how that happened twice in 12 hours. So that was a, a really amazing experience that I would, that I wanted to share with you. And once I landed, I got picked up by Jos and Ria. Those are the people that live on the houseboat and we, we went over here in my old car since they uh, own my old car now. And we had the rooftop open because it's a Volkswagen convertible and it was an amazing, an amazing trip. And that afternoon, my uncle, the brother of my dad and my grandpa came over that I saw for about an hour. And after that, I settled into my room and I just relaxed for the rest of the day. And then in the evening, I ate some uh, mussels, one of my favorite foods here in the Netherlands, with Yosaria, and I had some really conf wonderful, deep conversations. So yeah, that was my uh, my story about my travels that I wanted to share with you, and um, I would like to say 